Hello, it's Dr. Heather Kovac from the Drake Center, and today we're going to be talking about dog boarding. Dr. Kovac, what should I consider when boarding my dog? So you need to consider the age of the pet, but also the temperament of the pet. So um, we offer boarding here, but I would say it's not ideal for every dog. So if you have a very, very stressed dog who you know does not like being away from home, um, has some separation anxiety, it might be better for you to get a pet sitter, and that's the honest truth. Um, they might be much more comfortable in their own home with a regular visitor or even somebody living with the pet. Um, so need to consider that, but also just, um, you know, the comfort of the pet. So if it's an older dog that has some arthritis, we would want to make sure that that pet has um, adequate bedding um, and is probably taken out to the yard more frequently. So things to just think about um, what does your pet need on a daily basis and also thinking about their personality and emotional health. <laughs> What are the different dog boarding options offered at the Drake Center? All right, here at the Drake Center, we do have boarding for dogs and for cats. Um, classically, we would have somebody drop off and stay for a few days, but we also offer just day boarding. So drop off in the morning and pick up in the afternoon or whatever time that you need. And we offer packages for that. So I believe there's 10 daycare visits in, in a package and then you can use that as needed. Um, of course, holidays, we're here for you. We're, we're open 365 days a year for, for pet boarding. So we do sometimes fill up for holidays. Um, and then we offer a separate area for cats that's completely um, dog free. So we try to keep them in their own space. We also offer puppy day boarding or puppy boarding where they would go out to the yard more frequently. We're helping you with the potty training, the reward system, um, getting them used to being in a cage, I think is also very important for puppies. So it's a good time to, to reinforce that as well. Uh, we do offer a geriatric boarding. So for our senior patients where they will get extra bedding, extra walks, they might need medications that are given to them while they're here. Um, so really anything that you need. Oh, we also offer medicated boarding. So what that means is if we have a pet that's say a diabetic and needs to have insulin injections twice a day, we're here for you. We're here to help you. We're all trained. They would be under veterinary supervised care. So if something did go wrong or they weren't eating well or they were losing weight, you know, the veterinarian would be able to step in right away without having to transport them to another facility, which is really um, assuring for owners who, who have to travel, who have pets that are on medications. Will my dog get active and social time while boarding? Yes, so they're taken to the yard at least three times a day, but we can do it four times a day for an added fee. Um, as far as social time, it depends on the pet. So if you tell us, oh yeah, my dog loves to play with other dogs, we'll try to match them up um, with another dog that is like temperament and also friendly. But you know, on the flip side, if you're like, oh, please don't put them in the yard with anybody, that's fine too. So we have a fully enclosed AstroTurf area in the back of our hospital that they can run around off leash out there. We always have an attendant with them the whole time, um, just in case something were to happen while they're outside. Um, but we also will sometimes keep them on a leash, leash if, if you'd like us to. Uh, we'll throw the ball for them, we'll interact with them, just tr give them treats. And we try to make it a fun time when they're outside because you know it is hard to be in a cage, but they are in a cage overnight. They're all brought inside, so nobody sleeps outside. Um, everyone's in here with our lockdown security system. What do I need to know about boarding at a veterinarian's office? I guess just need to know that it's different than say a, a regular animal boarding facility because you're under the care of the veterinarian while you're here. So again, if they were vomiting, if they were having diarrhea, something like that, we would be alerted right away. We'd be able to call you and say, hey, the doctor should look at your dog um, and, and take it from there. So um, I just need guests to know that, you know, we're here to help you and to help your pet in any, any way that they need while they're with us. What do dog boarding facilities need to know about my dog? Well, they need to know uh, the temperament of the dog. So a lot of times they'll do like a social test when you get there, if it's a new facility or first time you've been to kind of figure out um, the dog's personality and, and who they would want to get along with. Um, and then l letting them know if there's any special dietary restrictions or if they have any allergies things like that. If a few of our patients are highly bee allergic, and so we'll make alerts that they are not allowed to go outside unsupervised. They're indoors during the day, instead of out in our outdoor run areas, just in case a bee were to come by, uh, just some extra TLC. So uh, nothing major, but I would say if your pet has a special need, then you need to let them know. What do veterinarians generally recommend for safe dog boarding? 
So to keep everybody safe, we do have a protocol for required vaccinations. So all dogs are required to have um, current distemper parvo vaccine, Bordetella vaccine, rabies vaccine, also to be dewormed and to have a stool check once a year to check for internal parasites. We also require that all dogs be on uh, flea control while they're boarding here. So safe things just to make sure nobody gets fleas or, or gets an infectious disease, um, keeping our grounds clean, things like that. All right, last question. What should I bring and how should I prepare for when my well, when boarding my dog? So if your dog's on a special diet, of course, bring enough food for them plus a couple of days extra, just in case you yeah. were to be late to pick them up or we ran out, we, we wouldn't wanna um, have to switch their diet on them. So if they are on a special food, bring that. But we do, um, we're happy to provide the food at no extra charge. You can bring bedding. Uh, especially if it's, a, if it's an older dog or, or somebody who's laying down a lot and you want some special thick padding, feel free to bring that along. You could bring just a, a comfort item, like a little toy or a, a shirt that smells like you uh, to help them um, to be more relaxed while they're here. Um, but that's really it. You know, we, we take, we, we use our leashes to take them out. Um, we have lots of bedding here. We're always washing their, their towels and bedding um, as, as necessary. Um, so you don't have to bring any of that, but if you'd like to, we would accept it. All right, sounds like that's all the questions for today. Um, let me know if you have anything else. Thank you.